Shades of Entrepreneurship, where we interview entrepreneurs to inspire the future entrepreneur. I'll be your host, Mr. Gabriel Flores. So grab a drink, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. everyone and welcome to the Shades of Entrepreneurship. This is your host, Mr. Gabriel Flores. Today I have Isa Ramos. How are we doing? I uh running around. Yeah, he is currently in the truck doing a podcast <laughs> episode. Man, este vato is working. And where are you calling in from? Yes, sir. I'm calling in from uh Northeast Atlanta. So uh Georgia is uh, Southeast United States. Wow, my goodness, that is coming calling from a long way. So, give us a little background. Who is Isa? Give us some background information, family education. All right, guys. Uh, well, and uh, Gabriel, I am uh, uh, immigrant. Came here when I was six, um, and been uh, introduced to the construction and staffing fields. Uh, through my dad and through my mom, um, and uh, I developed a company helping people find jobs, and that's uh, that's what's really taken over my life. Uh, and you know, and I have a family, which has been a big part too. A uh, great wife that's helped me through it. Um, but uh, that's who I am. I, I I help people find jobs. I built a platform around it, and um, a lot of great opportunities that you know are getting built on, on our platform. So that's what that that's me. Yeah. So let's let's take a step back. I think there's a lot in there that you probably just okay. want to glance <laughs> over. So let's, first, yeah. let's, let's talk about your transition from you know you you mentioned we we're actually having this conversation before that you were born in Mexico and then you came over to the United States. How was that transition? Yeah. Uh, it was uh it wasn't that hard. I came when I was six. Um. I definitely, uh, there's this meme that I saw and I reposted that was like, you know, my parents were crazy. They, they did, they knew I didn't speak English and they still dropped me off at school in kindergarten. <laughs> and so that, that was the experience, you know, I didn't know English, uh, but, uh, you know, I learned and, uh, uh, you know, I, I'm, a, you know, I was an immigrant. I, uh, thanks to Mr. Ronald Reagan though, and my, and my dad. I was able to uh, become uh, a citizen, uh, but I did have to go through that uh, that that adventure that a lot of people have to do, and I still remember it. So it's it's uh, maybe another day we'll get real deep into that one. No, that's I mean it's a great part of your life, right? And I think that also kind of molded you into what you are today. In fact, you kind of mentioned uh, y- your parents also worked. Describe some of the work that you did that were younger that kind of got you to this point. So, yeah, that what got me into it was basically, like I said, when I got here and I was six, my dad had a uh, a, a construction company doing um, uh, volume new home construction and uh, the framing. And uh, he just bring me along with him. So I really didn't get to have summers and I actually didn't get to have summers most of my school time uh and uh he would just bring me to work since i was six years old i was sweeping houses for a prominent family here that does a lot of construction here in georgia and um so just construction has been in my life you know this whole time now, now let's talk about the business big the big work app what is it yeah uh, it's a construction super app so we built a uh a platform it has a bunch of tools in it and uh, we're we're expanding on it. So think of it as Amazon. There's a bunch of features that are coming together, come into play, and we're and we're using the data that we're gathering to you know really connect people on it, um, and make the service just you know a little bit more efficient for everybody. 
you know, they say there's nothing new under the sun and, and, and we don't mind that, but we, we, what we want to do is put the right people in the right place. And, and we also like the middleman. So we, we, you know, there's a lot of businesses that say that they cut out somebody, but you know, we don't want to cut nobody out. We just want to make sure, you know, everybody's involved. Everybody's making some money. Everybody's happy. So that that's what the app is. I love it. And it's, it's really like kind of a, a construction social media site almost it's, it's, on steroids because you because you can do so many things on that plate. Now, is this your first business? Uh, yeah, it would be my first um, official business. Not the first company though. We went, we grew from, you know, one the first iteration, second iteration, third iteration, uh, and now we're, uh, you know, we have partners and stuff. And uh, but it is the first business. Mm-hmm. Now, throughout these iterations, what what have you learned that has you felt is most valuable? Be patient. Uh, you know, let people do what they're supposed to do. You know, uh, one of my big defects is that I think I know it all, and uh, and uh, I've learned that that's you know I still do it, but you know it's uh, I learned to try to simmer it down because you know everybody has their thing and and. Uh, try to listen as much as possible and, and really take in what people are saying, not, you know, just kind of overthrow it or something, you know? Yeah. You mentioned too, you know, you had different iterations of the company. What was that first iteration like in that second iteration before you got to today? So the first iteration, we, we thought we were just going to build an app. And, uh, and so that's what we did. We, we were trying to build an app. Uh, we hired somebody, um, Obviously, we I already had requests and in services I had, you know, for my history and stuff. And uh, but later on, we, we, we realized, you know, somebody came to us and, you know, worked worked for a really, really great company. He was their CTO and he was like, you know, you need a you need a platform as well. You need a website. That's where you actually need to start off and then build the app. And, you know, we didn't really understand. Uh, and 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 so. Uh, we didn't do much to it, but eventually we we're like, okay, we do definitely need the website. Um, and we built the website, which was the second iteration where, and then that's, what's grown the best, which is the platform, um, versus the app. Cause now we realize like, oh, we're, we're probably going to have a bunch of apps. Like, uh, it's not just going to be one app, but, um, you know, we, at first we thought it was going to be one app. It was going to be super easy. It was going to do everything and everybody was going to connect to it and, and it didn't work out. And, and then, so once we found that out, then I realized my, the business side of it. And it is when I started getting my partners and they created the new company and, you know, we, that's how we got shares and started working on that. So now, it's been progressing. Yeah. How, how, how do you progress? Like the, you, it's a great word progressing because how do you progress? I'm pretty sure people are listening. Like how the heck did you go and start building an app? How do you build an app? Uh, so it's interesting enough, you, you know, you start to look for the people, uh, and, and in my scenario, you, you find them, but like I said, I was a know-it-all, so I never let anybody really finish, <laughs> uh, but it has its, yeah, it has its benefits because I learned uh, eventually to, when I got to my second developer, he taught me some things in programming. And I call myself a great configurer because I'm not a programmer, but I know how to configure things. And so I uh, eventually learned how to configure things uh, and was able to co- put together the app with all the right systems. And uh, oh, and behold, I got the app and I was able to start getting people to download it. And uh, and now I can notify them. You know, that's the really big thing for us is be able to send the notifications out. And uh, so that's I mean, how do you do it? You just kind of have to figure out um, what systems you're going to need and put them together. And if you're patient enough, get somebody that's going to put them together that's done it before, you know, uh, and that's how you do it. You, you know, you get the right people. Where, where, where do you get the right people? Like, especially for building an app, because it's such a, such a unique thing. How do you, how do you attract employees for those specific roles? So, I started off friends and family, man. I started asking people like, hey, you know, a programmer and, you know, there's like, oh, yeah, he makes websites. He makes websites. And then I got real lucky and I um, had a friend that had a friend 
that had a friend that had <laughs> gone to this good school that was about yeah he, and he, i got lucky man and he, he went to the school where it was technology and science it's called gsmst here in uh in, in georgia and uh he actually had got invested by a big name investor from uh you know shark tank and uh and he built the security uh app and uh and so he knew what to do and so he kind of started setting us in the right path and but i got desperate you know i thought like i said that was the first one and i didn't finish it all the way through and i was and i met somebody else who i had actually gone to school with but at that time i was already actively looking so i guess he put out the energy to the universe and you know and just you start attracting what you want you know and uh um so that you know that's how you start looking for them you ask you got your circles you know your the people around you then your social media then you know you could probably pay for some stuff and uh you know uh you just got to go through those uh through those humps um uh, yep so iteration 1 what does iteration 2 look like iteration 2 I'll tell you what, we had uh, a thousand downloads our, or a thousand signups our first month on iteration two. Wow. Uh, and uh, and the thing is this, with our users, these guys are doing jobs that are worth, you know, ten to a hundred thousand dollars a piece. So each user is really valuable to us. We don't have a lot of them, but each user uh, has, you know, real potential, a lot of a lot of potential to be a big impact uh, for the company with the jobs they do and with the jobs we can bring to them. And, uh, uh, and that was iteration two, but again, we had to go to iteration three and iteration two, we had a thousand downloads the first month. And during iteration three, it took us almost three or four times the time to get those thousand downloads. We lost uh, those first thousand signups through our programming mistakes and stuff. Uh, and we had the people that we were connected with and we brought them on to iteration, you know, the third iteration, which is the one that we still have now. And, uh, but it was, it was painful. We saw them, we saw it was so good. And then it was like, it just disappeared. That's so the iteration two was that. Yeah. It was the first website, uh, which, uh, you know, failure to make an app, then the website, then the actual platform that had the app connected to it, which is what we have now. Just a, just a cascade fall of different things erupting at the same time. Now, what this is your first business. What is has there anything been easy about this being a small business, being an entrepreneur? The stress has been easy. You know, you get stressed out quickly. You, you get, uh, you know, like uh, uh, you easily get stressed out. You know, you 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 start to see a lot of stuff come out and it come you know come to your plate, and you get stressed out. Um, other than that, everything else is pretty hard, man. Gaining your customers, gaining your uh, your users, you know, like it's 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 not that it's not that simple, uh, you know, getting people to actually start to use a system that you're building versus systems that are out there, and then when you get compared to a bunch of systems, and they're like, oh, well, you're just like that. We're like, well, no, we're doing this, you know, like so. Let me explain to you. Now you got to explain. And, and scaling that. So a lot of that stuff is hard. And, uh, um, you know, I, I, I am a big advocator of, of education because I didn't get the chance to really get an education like that. And, but I do think that if you find yourself, uh, wanting to have some free time and like enjoying life, you, you should, you could, you should probably get a career and find a company you can work with to build something nice because being an entrepreneur is really, really hard. It's not easy. Um, and, you know, it takes it takes that you do have to sacrifice a bunch of stuff. You know, one of the things you mentioned too the difficulty of, of getting clients, how do you brand yourself? How do you market yourself? How do you get new clients? So, uh, like I said, I had that history. So I started off word of mouth and now we've created, you know, uh, some sort of techniques uh, uh, on getting clients. Some of them, I can't really say they're like business, uh, proprietary business practices, but, um, uh, but, you know, we're, we're, uh, we got, we got a really good, um, word of mouth going and now we're, you know, we're starting to hire out, um, 
paid promotions and we did social media was really good for us. So social media helped us out a lot. Um, uh, and everybody knows that, but, uh, you know, social media can be like a entertainment or it could be business, you know? And so I, we figured out how to monetize it. And now, you know, we're able to get jobs from social media and, um, and so that's been kind of compounding and we have clients that have, have stayed, have started with us and are still with us, uh, in those compound as well. And what, what does a typical client look like? What is your ideal uh, typical customer? client? Uh, ideal customer is someone that's in the real estate or construction field looking for a service. Um, whether they're looking to, you know, build a property, work on a property, um, you know, just want to do something that has to do with, with real estate and they're looking for that service. So we have, you know, the lenders, the developers that can help them through the process with the cities um, or somebody that's in construction that wants to just grow their business. They need that capital or they need those crews to uh, perform the job. And so we specialize in recruiting, uh, which was our first actual, you know, our first actual service was the recruiting of people for other companies. So that one's the one that we, we you know, that's gotten us to where we're at now. Yeah, you, you kind of mentioned like where you're at now. Where 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 do you see, you know, the big work app going in the next five, ten years? We, I see the company going uh, as one of the biggest companies in the world. Uh, some of the projects that we get are are, you know, ten figures, and the and the better we get, the more of those projects we're gonna be involved in. And, uh, and so we can, uh, really, really grow really, really fast. And that's where we see ourselves in providing just, uh, a lot of, a lot of, um, benefits to the people that, uh, ride with us, you know, and, uh, we're, you know, we're just getting connected to so many awesome people through the platform and, and we can, and, and just being able to connect them and, Put these things together so we we see ourselves as being a super app uh i don't know if you've seen that movie uh ralph breaks the internet or or uh it's on disney where oh, yeah. you know oh, yeah. Goes, <laughs> yeah it's like this digital world you know yep. where you see uh he's in ebay and it's like a big mall and stuff and we see ourselves being one of those oh i like it i like it now you, you know you kind of mentioned this is all new you're going through it you you, you kind of mentioned um, don't be an entrepreneur because there's a lot of difficult times. Have you ever had a moment of self doubt going through this process? Yeah, man. Yeah, of course. Uh, just you know, you're like, am I doing the right thing? Like, it, you know, am I like, am I being as good as I can be? Like, uh, am I you know treating people like I want them to like I want to be treated like other small businesses? Um, and sometimes, uh, unfortunately, if you're not set up right and you don't have that education, which I was advocating earlier, you don't know how to properly set up things. And so then you have to learn in reverse. And that's real painful because you learn off of mistakes and those mistakes, uh, burn bridges a lot of the times. And so, um, it gives you doubt, but, uh, our company stands for believe in God and, you know, and, 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 and God what I mean and and what I was told um uh, is just like believe in something and uh and just kind of stick it through. So uh, even though I had that self doubt, you know, I always went back to God, uh, which is, you know, my my stronghold and it's you know, just kind of kept going, kept going, kept going. Uh and keep keep and I'm keeping on going. So it's not like self doubt's gone. It's it happens, you know, there's bumps on the road and uh you know and so i still i'm still doing it now you know i, th I think that's a great point and that's something great things for listeners to hear is uh, a self-doubt is is kind of constant it's just kind of figuring out ways to uh, manage it and, and address it right i think everybody has their moment of self-doubt or feeling that imposter syndrome uh but but just understanding it addressing it understanding what it is and then moving through it right and pushing through now, what advice would you have for aspiring entrepreneurs? 
someone who maybe wants to become an entrepreneur, what advice would you have for them? Uh, I tell them to, to really plan things out and get educated in the field they're in. Even if they're doing something different, whatever the things that they're doing that have to do with that field, they should get uh, that education. Even if you're mixing it another way, you still got to know the things you're mixing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and uh, that's my advice. Learn, 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 and learn. Learn, learn what you're doing. You know, learn the spices that you mix in. That's it. <laughs> no, that's a great, that's a great analogy. Learn, learn the spices that you're mixing. In fact, that's something my wife would probably love to tell you about because she's, she's phenomenal with the mixing the spices. She's really good about that. Now, for the listeners at home, maybe there, maybe there's a future client out there listening right now. How can they get in contact with you? What's your contact information? Maybe it's social media sites as well. Uh, yeah, so we have the platform and we have a contact form. Uh, if you're, you know, depending on the service or the this disposition they're coming through with, they can request a service uh, and uh, or they can make a profile, which is the best. Uh, make a profile so they can start to add people and, and, and get a feel for the site. Um, we don't have a lot of uh, instructional content, uh, but the site is very functional. So it's like site messages you know, post, um, activity, you know, you got your news feed and at the bottom, our footer, you can see a lot of the services there and ways to, um, and, and kind of, you know, find your, find your way through. Uh, but you know, we, we're on LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, you know, like I said, social media has been great for us. So if you reach out to us there, we'll be there for you guys. Perfect. Now I'm, I'm looking at the screenshot of some of the, the work that this is able to do. Is it also do you, your individuals that post? They can also post in multiple languages, correct? Uh, yeah, they can post in multiple multiple languages. We we we, uh, we have a, a great team that'll be able to um, cipher it. And you know, we we've, we've been lucky enough to have some jobs from Romania, uh, in England, and uh, England English. But you know, so um, you know, we we want to make this a uh, platform can be used internationally. Yeah. So again, folks, like I'm, I'm on their website, their big website. I mean, you can just go in there, type in a couple of category keywords, you know, say you want your air duct cleaning, maybe you want some asphalt, maybe the basement bathrooms or something like that. And they will find people for you. It's such a, such a cool service. It really, it's like, it's like Google, but a little bit more specific, right? Correct. Yep. And uh, I want to add to it, but we typically don't, So you were asking me earlier, like I said, anybody that's already in construction or is uh, investing in properties, those are the people we really like to work with. Um, if you're a homeowner and need a service, we can definitely help. <laughs> but there are some more, um, you know, homeowner type services that could probably help you out better. And, and we, we plan on working with them, too, just because the people that we work with do a lot of volume. So, um yeah, but um, yeah, just want to make sure you guys know that, that way you guys don't, you know, go on there. Fast to turn around, but if you guys are able to um, give us a, a, a maybe like a volume job, say you're putting siding on 10 homes, then we can get you a contractor to do that. But maybe a small repair, we, it'd be a couple of days to get just somebody to do that makes sense so again this is this is for those larger larger uh larger work crews larger ventures that are out there so again thank you so much for your time i really do appreciate uh being able to take the time to have this conversation very unique stuff that you're doing very cool site i'm, I'm still even though i'm not you know doing some huge construction site this is really cool information uh, just to kind of have at your fingertips really is kind of a little kind of a, a, a Facebook for the construction crew. Now, is there anything else you'd like to say to listeners before we go? Yeah. Um, I really appreciate uh, you guys that are listening uh, for the time to listen uh, about our company. And I want to appreciate Mr. Gabriel. Uh, he's taking the time to shout us 
entrepreneurs out. So you guys uh, make sure to watch and uh, see all the people that are about to pop off. That's a that's exactly it because we got a lot of people about to pop off. In fact, if you want to learn more about this information, you can actually visit me at theshadesofe.com. You can also subscribe to the newsletter by visiting at theshadesofe.com or you can see us on the social sites on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and LinkedIn by visiting at the shades of e. I want to thank you all for listening and have a great night. Thank you for tuning in to the Shades of Entrepreneurship. For more information, please follow The Shades of E on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, or visit theshadesofe.com.